What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint, and we have another PCS collectible statue in the building. They just had three brand new releases back to back. This is the Michelangelo from their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. I love how this line is coming together. This is the third one from the line. You might have seen my Raphael review, the Donatello, and now we're going to go ahead and unbox Michelangelo. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We are giving away this Supergirl premium format statue by Sideshow Collectibles. This is the exclusive version, so stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you what you got to do to enter. But for now, let's get him out the box. Alright, same style art box like the other two turtles. I love how they made it look like the packaging for the original action figures. So you have Mikey, the statue on all sides. This is the exclusive version that comes with the, I believe, uh, pizzas and extra head sculpt. Love how this box look. I would have rather have seen the original uh, late 80s, early 90s logo, but beggars can't be choosers. So let's go ahead and start getting Michelangelo out the box. All right, here's the COA. This is number 197 out of 250 for the exclusive. So very limited piece. And of course we have the white gloves, which I will not be using. And this base is a lot bigger in person. Uh, I thought these were cool bases, kind of like Technodrome Monsters on top of this uh, bluish gray concrete. Oh, I like the yellow tint there. And here's the bottom. Nice, big, solid base. All right, another piece of the base here, this nice jagged, like, tail kind of weapon looking thing. Pretty cool. All right, here's the body. So his right arm is in. You can see where you could put some nunchucks in there. I love the shading and the color on the green. That orange is really vibrant, it pops. All right, man, he looks great. Okay, here's his left hand with the pizza box switch out. This box is so much bigger than I thought it was, man. I love how they have the pizza there. That looks great. <laughs> this huge pizza box. All right, here we have his other left hand. This is the switch out where you can put the nunchucks in there. So here's one of the nunchucks with it. Okay, lastly, we have two portraits. You have a real Michelangelo happy-go-lucky look, sticking his tongue out a little bit. I like the little shine on the tongue. The bandana parts are separate, but I, I just keyed him in for this. And then you have an angry, kind of like maniac look. He's got that crazy look in his eye with his teeth gritting. Awesome. Love how these came out. All right, cool. So there were a couple of little pieces for the base that I didn't really get into. I figured you guys wouldn't really be interested. So let's start getting him together. Now he does key in right here, but it looks like there might be something going on here that we should do first. Let's take a quick look. All right, I think I got it right now. All right, so I guess let's try to get Mikey in here. All right, there we go. Let's get a portrait on here. All right, all right. Oh, let's get his little M belt. Boom. Oh, I think this is what goes right here. All right. Let's see here. You know we gotta do the pizza box. And there we go. Mikey all assembled. Wow, he looks awesome, man. You gotta have this happy face when he's got the pizza box. That's the only way to go. All right, so now that we've seen this look, let's switch this out. 
We'll have dual nunchucks going. Nunchucks. Switch out the happy head sculpt for the maniac one. <laughs> and there we have it. Alright guys, so the Ninja Turtles first appeared in 1984, the same year I was born, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Issue 1, which was created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, and it was under their own comic book company called Mirage. It was really Jack Kirby, Frank Miller inspired, and it was kind of more serious of a tone, a little bit more of a, a ninja book, more than it was what you see here. Now, I didn't get into Turtles with that, the cartoon is what got me into it, man, when I saw this... Uh, as a kid, that theme song, you know how it goes, like that was it for me. I loved the cartoon, I loved the movies, the first one a lot, but really it was all about that part two, Secret of the Ooze for me. That was my favorite Turtles movie, even the Vanilla Ice part, Vanilla Ice was shit at that time, and uh, I loved Toka and Razor. But uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've liked Ninja Turtles, man, all growing up, I was really into the toys, me and all my friends had the Ninja Turtle toys like most of uh, most of you guys in your 30s right now. So when uh, when I saw PCS start teasing this line, I knew I had to jump on them. I, I was tempted to get the Prime 1 90s movie look. I was never really into the newer movies, but when I saw this, I was like, that's it. Quarter scale, animated series, and I think they did an awesome job here. Let's go ahead and get some measurements. So it looks like the nunchuck is going to be the highest point here at about 23 inches tall and nunchuck to nunchuck with the width it's like 22 inches the depth on this guy is about 15 inches so he's uh he's a pretty big piece man for a quarter scale character i mean it you know he is pretty high up off the ground like his foot is almost eight inches from the bottom of the base. I do want to measure him really quick with the pizza box. See if he's even taller now. Yeah, that makes him about two inches higher, like about 25 inches tall. So, Let's jump into this. So as far as the concept, I do like the bases. They have like a Technodrome vibe. I forget which uh, episode of the cartoon they're from, but these kind of gray machines. And I think that's a good touch because the gray really does contrast well with the color of the turtles with their green skin and colorful bandages. Um, I think I might have liked su a sewer theme a little bit better, but um, I still like the direction that they went in. So you have this really uh, cartoonish looking paint application but it's not really flat you know it's nothing like the transformers which are cell shaded you've got some dark grays going into light grays here on this guy i like how they did the the rock on the bottom more of a bluish tint which is like a good cartoonish gray look i'm not even sure what <laughs> type of creature this is supposed to be but he's fighting something super dynamic pose i like how they have the options where you can have a serious Mikey with the nunchucks or you can uh, switch it out to his happy portrait coming through with a big large cheese pizza. Really showcases his personality, his younger, kind of more likable character. He was my favorite one growing up, uh, but as I got older I think I started gravitating a little bit more toward Raphael. But Mikey was my favorite turtle as a kid. Anyway, like I showed in the close-ups, I like the paint, man. The green has a lot of shadowing to it. You can see the dark greens going around his ankles and his muscles into the lighter green of his skin. The shell with the brown looks great. The orange and, and again, the shadowing, it, it's there. It's on point. There is a neck seam with the uh, head sculpts, as you guys can see, but the arm seams are uh, covered by the bandages, so really smart to play with that. Nothing you could really do about the seams. I guess, I don't know, I would have preferred one head sculpt uh, where you couldn't switch it out and you wouldn't have the next seam. But these two head sculpts are very different. For Raphael and Donatello, the two head sculpts were almost exactly the same. So of all three turtles so far, this one does make the most sense to have a switch out. So yeah, really enjoying this piece. Um, 
I'm gonna bring down the other two. Let's look at all three of these guys together. So here we go, guys. All three turtles that have been released so far. Leonardo has been teased. We see the sculpt. He's on a similar type of base. And I think he's gonna go great with this line. Not really sure if they're gonna do any of the villains, man. I heard that uh, they were gonna do villains before Leonardo. But being that we're only getting Leo, it might be the end of the line. I hope not. Make sure that you guys are picking up these pieces to support it so we can see Bebop and Rocksteady, so we can see Metalhead or Shredder or Splinter or some of these characters. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite turtle in the comments down below. If you want to be entered into the drawing for this Supergirl giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and drop a comment. Once we hit 90k subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video and use a random YouTube comment generator to pick a winner. You could be worldwide, doesn't matter. Alright guys, stay tuned at the end here. We're going to have a playlist for more statue unboxing and reviews. Appreciate you watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.